dear students in this video i am going to explain about acceptance angle acceptance cone and a numerical aperture so what is this acceptance angle acceptance cone and numerical aperture let me explain one by one in detail so in the previous video we discussed about critical angle we discussed about the critical angle what is critical angle inside the core medium the critical angle is the angle at which the angle of refraction will be 90 degree okay so any angle should be greater than critical angle then only the light should suffer total internal reflection inside so this is the condition we have discussed okay i should be greater than ic okay this is inside the core but we are going to launch the light from outside okay that means if from the air medium i am going to pass the light to the optical fiber from the outside at which angle i have to pass the light then it will suffer that means it that will become angle greater than the critical angle then only the total internal reflection will take place so inside the core critical angle is important outside from which angle we have to pass that means which angle of light is accepted by the optical fiber is called acceptance angle okay so now you see air medium is also involved previously we discussed only core and cladding but now another medium is air medium so the refractive index of air medium is equal to n naught at uh, three medium this is air medium n naught and the next one is core medium which is n1 and the next one is cladding its refractive index is n2 so three mediums now we are going to use now listen the center part i have drawn one dotted lines right this represents the fiber axis along this only the light is going to pass okay so along with the fiber axis only we are going to discuss now everything all the angles next ao is the incident ray listen carefully ao is the incident ray from which medium to which medium air medium to core medium these two mediums are involved now this i is the AO is the incident ray and I is the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence. Right? Next, the light is refracted with the angle of theta with the fiber axis. So, I can write OB. OB is the refracted ray. OB is the refracted ray. Right? It is represented by theta. So, theta is the angle of refraction angle of refraction so now listen carefully AO and OB okay so this is first case okay and the second case is inside inside the core medium so now if the light this is the angle of theta right angle of refraction it further proceeds to fall at the critical angle of incidence this angle is the critical angle so the angle of refraction will be 90 degree that already i said it is the 90 degree right so it further proceeds to fall at critical angle of incidence so now on the interface between core and cladding at this angle the ray just moves along the bc okay so here the second one is in involved that is the point p first one is a AO is the incident, OB is the refracted, over. Next step is, this two medium will be involved. This two medium, core and cladding. What is the incident ray? OB is the incident ray for this case. OB, incident ray, that is critical angle. Incident ray, I can say IC, okay. And BC is the refracted ray refracted ray the angle is theta is equal to 90 degree right so this two is involved now so now i am going to apply the snell's law for these two conditions and i am going to find acceptance angle okay so listen carefully two parts we are going to divide ao and ob one part this is one part and angle is here i and theta involved 
and the next step is OB and BC. OB and BC. Here core and cladding medium is involved. So IC is the angle of incidence. Theta is equal to 90 degree is the angle of refraction. Okay. So let us start now. So here what is the concept we are going to understand is already I said the any angle should be greater than IC. So now for example in this I. So for example I am considering this is the I maximum value. So any value less than this if I am passing theta value is also less than that. Theta is also less than that. If theta is less IC value will be greater. That means what is the meaning of that? For example I will show in this small diagram so you can understand clearly. See here this angle is theta and this angle is IC. So to find the value of IC total is 90. This part will be 90 minus theta. So IC is equal to how much this opposite angles will be equal right. So IC is equal to 90 minus theta. How much theta value is reducing I will be greater than IC. Okay, this is the concept you have to understand. Okay, if I is less than IM, then the theta value is also less. Hence, the angle of incidence that is IC at the interface of core and the cladding will be more than the critical angle. Hence, the ray will be totally internally reflected. So, this is what we have to understand. Thus, only those rays which passes within the acceptance angle, within this angle, within the acceptance angle will be totally reflected internally. Therefore, the light incident on the core within this maximum incident angle can be coupled into the fiber okay, to propagate. So, this is the maximum angle. So, this angle only accepted by the optical fiber. So, that's what we have to understand. Acceptance angle is the maximum angle at which the light suffer total internal reflection inside. Okay. So, this is what the concept. Now, we are going to find the formula for acceptance angle. Okay, so let me explain how to find this. So already I said here three mediums are involved air, core and cladding. In that first step is only air and core is involved. So AO is the incident, OB is the refracted, I is the angle of incidence, theta is the angle of refraction. By using this, by applying the Snell's law, we are going to find out the acceptance angle formula. Now what I am going to write, applying Snell's law at the point of entry of ray okay so here examples are already i said two medium air medium n naught refractive index and core medium n1 refractive index here angle of incidence takes place here angle of refraction takes place maybe we will consider or or Okay, that R is equal to theta here. Okay, now by, uh, by using this only, I am going to write the Snell's law. So, how what is the Snell's law formula generally? N1 sin I is equal to N2 sin R. Okay, so where the angle of incidence takes place, that is N1. Where the angle of refraction takes place, that is N2. So, here in this case, angle of incidence takes place in air medium. So, instead of N1, I have to substitute N0 because this is the first medium, right? And I value, I is same as such. And N2, N2 is nothing but N1 here. In this case, for this case, N2 is nothing but N1 and R is equal to theta, okay? Substitute here now, N1 become N0 sin I is as such is equal to instead of n2 i have to write n1 sine of theta right next sin i is equal to this n0 i am taking to that side so n1 by n0 okay into sin theta instead of sin theta i am going to write that means sin theta can be written in the form of cos square theta 1 minus cos square theta okay so you know well this formula sin theta is equal to sin theta can be expressed in terms of cos square theta by using this formula i just written like this so sin i is equal to n1 by n0 into root of 1 minus cos square theta this is 
equation number 1. Okay. So, here at the entry of ray. Okay. So, these two mediums involved, air and core. Next one, we have to consider core and cladding medium. So, let us discuss the next part. Again, we are going to apply the Snell's law. Snell's law at point B. So, point B is nothing but on interface on interface between the core and the cladding okay so by using this so in at this point b what are the two mediums involved one is core medium that is n1 and another one is cladding medium at this point b cladding medium its refractive index is n2 here angle of incidence is ic okay here angle of refraction is 90 degree Angle of refraction is 90 degree. So, by using this, we have to write the Snell's law. So, what is the Snell's law? N1 sin i is equal to N2 sin r. Right? So, here N1 as such N1 only, no need to change. But i is equal to ic. Okay? And the N2, again N2, cladding medium is N2 only. So, directly we can write r is equal to 90 degree. Okay? Substitute in this formula. N1 Instead of I, I am going to write IC is equal to N2 sin of 90 degree. So, 90 degree can be written as sin 90 degree. So, now sin IC is equal to N2. This N1 I am taking down N1 sin 90 is equal to 1. Okay, sine of IC. So, here already I said IC is equal to 90 degree minus theta. From that diagram I said IC is equal to 90 minus theta. So, now I am going to substitute this IC value here. So, sine of 90 degree minus theta is equal to N2 by N1. Sine 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta. Okay you know well. So, which is equal to cos theta. So, instead of this, I am going to write cos theta is equal to N2 by N1. So, this is equation number 2. Okay. So, now in equation 2, we got cos theta value. In equation 1, once again, I will show you. See, this is equation 1. Sin i is equal to N1 by N0 into root of 1 minus cos square theta. In the place of cos square theta, now I am going to substitute the cos theta value from equation 2. Okay. So, let me substitute the value of cos theta here. So, the next step is substitute equation 2 in equation 1. What is equation 1? Sin i is equal to n1 by n0 into root of 1 minus cos square theta. This is actually equation 1. Okay. And then what is equation 2? Equation 2 is cos theta is equal to n2 by n1. So, now I am going to substitute this in this place. Okay. So, write equation 1 is nothing but sin i is equal to n1 by n0 into root of 1 minus cos theta is n2 by n1 whole square. Okay. n2 square divided by n1 square. Next step is just to do the simplification. Take the LCM. n1 square is down. So, cross multiply n1 square minus n2 square whole divided by n1 square. See here in the denominator n1 square root of n1 square. So, root and the square will be cancelled together. Only numerator I am going to write n1 square minus n2 square. Okay, here the square and the root is cancelled. So, only n1 is remaining. So, now this n1 and this n1 will be cancelled. So, the final result is root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0. Okay. This is the sine i value. This is the sine i value. Sine i is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0. Actually, for air medium, 
for air the refractive index n naught should be equal to 1 okay so that we can write sin i is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square okay so this i is nothing but maximum angle that is the acceptance angle so i can write this as i m maximum angle is equal to the sign will come this side sign inverse of n1 square minus n2 square so this is the formula for acceptance angle from this angle only we have to launch the light from the air medium to the core medium so im is equal to sine inverse of root of n1 square minus n2 square if you know the value of the refractive index of core and cladding easily we can find im also that is acceptance angle also critical angle also critical angle as well as the acceptance angle both depending on the value of refractive index of the core and the cladding okay so now we we know about at which angle we have to pass the light inside the core medium so that the light will accepted the light will be accepted by the optical fiber to suffer total internal reflection inside okay so now this is uh, im is the maximum angle at which the light will suffer total internal reflection inside the optical fiber so it is clear next step is what is the acceptance cone okay what is the acceptance cone not only one angle we have to pass the light okay we have lot of angles also that will be explained by the acceptance cone so let us go to the first diagram so that we can understand the acceptance cone so now we completed acceptance angle next we are going to discuss about acceptance cone so this is the maximum angle the center is the fiber axis now i am going to rotate this acceptance angle about the optical fiber axis so if you rotate i will get ang cone like this okay what i am doing i am rotating the acceptance angle about the fiber axis so i will get one cone like structure okay so within the cone if you pass the uh, light inside the optical fiber all the light rays will suffer total internal reflection inside so not only one angle we have to follow within the cone any angle if you pause also definitely the light will suffer total internal reflection so that is explained by the acceptance cone okay the what is the acceptance cone the incidence cone at core of an optical fiber will be accepted by the fiber for guidance through it okay and this is known as acceptance cone okay so acceptance angle over acceptance cone over next one is numerical aperture so what is the numerical aperture actually how much light can be covered or gathered by the optical fiber that can be explained by the numerical aperture so now let me explain about it what is numerical aperture light gathering capacity of the optical fiber okay light gathering capacity of the optical fiber so this is for definition but what is the formula so how can we find which is nothing but mathematically we can write it as the sign of acceptance angle numerical aperture is mathematically equal to sign of acceptance angle so already we know the formula for sign of im that is root of n1 square minus n2 square right n1 square minus n2 square so this is the numerical aperture formula so numerical aperture represents the light gathering capacity of the optical fiber and mathematically which is equal to sign of the acceptance angle so that na is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square so that's all about acceptance angle acceptance cone and a numerical aperture so by using snell's law only we have discussed this please go through that if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you everyone